Well, nearly four out of five public officers in Singapore now use Pear, the government's AI assistant, making public services faster and more efficient. Fresh Q2 data shows a 20% jump in active users since Q1, now topping 64,000. Now, over 10,000 officers have even built custom AI tools to speed up daily tasks from HR to frontline ops. Noah Kong reports on how AI is reshaping public service and how other frontline teams are following suit. Meet Chatty Charlie, Singapore General Hospital's AI assistant for patient service. Built by frontline staff with no coding skills, Charlie helps manage patient arrivals and emergencies, putting hospital best practices right at their fingertips. It's the most well-adopted custom bot by SGH, with more than 4,000 conversations to date. People are able to create bots in a matter of days and test it and roll it out to their, their colleagues. So we, we can see much faster cycles and they can iterate and improve on it much faster. We can see users develop solutions that are right for their own workflow. So rather than having a top-down way, they're able to look at this tool and think best on how it might fit into their workflow, how best it could help them in their daily work. SGH says bots like Charlie can speed up work by up to five times. Daily, one-fifth of its 10,000 staff use AI helpers like Chatty Charlie and Ask Phoebe. Though they mainly retrieve info now, they've transformed many tasks. And beyond the work of public health care, other frontline ops are also taking its cues to boost efficiency. Merlin, an AI agent, is shaking up emergency call centres. It turns chaotic calls into lightning-fast actions. Through the use of this tool, uh, routine task is automated. Uh, the user can focus a lot on the higher value task. Uh, more importantly, we actually embed these agents as part of the user's uh, work processes and workflows uh, so that it becomes uh, seamless and uh, easy to interact which translates to uh, enhanced user experience. With Merlin, an hour of report crunching work can be done in 12 minutes, while engineers may solve four requests a day, up from three. Experts say AI agents work best in tech-heavy jobs like software coding and data analysis, where people create tools to help themselves. But it's important to use AI carefully. I think it's important to edu edu uh, educate the executive, have an AI kind of steering committee that's ultimately responsible for if you are rolling out such things, right? Who are the tribal chiefs within the organization who are responsible for some of the outcomes and security concerns. Experts say it's important to watch out for when custom tools mess up, don't work right or fail, and to keep personal data safe. Fixing these issues early means AI can be used more safely and effectively for everyone.